All right, so only in the Philippines. It's it's three in the morning, and there's a band and a parade going on down in Manila. Welcome back, everyone. Presidente here with you once again with another video. This video is going to be split into well. Two, two stories, one trip. This video is going to be about the first part of the trip, which is um, my days in Manila, back in the province, and, and Subic. And then there will be a second video of my trip down to Cebu City. Cebu! That was fun. It was my first time down there. All those years I've been going on, I just never made it over there. So I finally made it over there. Uh, but that's going to be in the following video. Uh, so this one here is just kind of uh, it's funny how it starts out, first nights in uh, in Manila, then making it out to uh, uh, the, the province and, and whatnot, and out to the coast. Um, this is kind of uh, thanks to all my subscribers out there that I got to meet, old and new. Didn't get to see everybody, I didn't get to meet everybody, there's just a limited amount of time. But at the end of the video, you get to see all their smiling faces, and uh, I love y'all, thank you so much for for watching my videos, for subscribing, for liking, for sharing it. I really, really do appreciate it. All right, so let's get into that first night there. And they just ducked behind that building, but you can you can see there's another group. You see all the lights? There's another group coming, and one other one behind them. So they're coming back out. That's crazy. But I want to party with them. I'm ready to go down and party, party, party. That is too cool. Unless you got to work the next day, then, you know. But tomorrow, uh, Saturday. It is Saturday tomorrow. That is really neat, though. And your friends will You're going to have to fi figure out, you're going to have to find out if what that, what that was about. Yeah, uh, I'll look it up. Yeah. Your friends will be like, why are you up at 3 a.m. in the morning? And who's that girl that's talking <laughs> on the video? <laughs> that's crazy. But cool. Yes, yeah, cool. A little creepy. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of it's nutty. I wonder what, what the uh, celebration is about. So, anyway, Mitch figured out that uh, this is a parade for a parochial fiesta for that church right there. Huh, interesting. Five o'clock in the morning in Manila. morning or later that day went out to the mall of Asia the boardwalk and and saw a bunch of people being the uh, the health freaks can you believe it who would have thought coming to Manila to be healthy my goodness where's the beer so we have half a Ferris wheel So it's been almost a week that I've been in the Philippines this time, and uh, I was over my jet lag. Then I messed around and partied until five in the morning, slept in until two this afternoon, and jacked that all up. So we'll see how that goes. Now remember what I said about going with the flow, chilling, and all that, and not taking yourself too serious. Towels, for example, some places. Uh, the towels are pretty thin. 
And let me, let me tell you something. Um, you know how some towels or some sheets and all that, they talk about thread count. Oh, you know, 500,000, 2,500, whatever thread count. Um, like this one here is, is, is kind of in the negative, I think. Uh, I, I, I think it's missing some thread. I've seen some of the folks in, in Manila and in Angeles, and I'm in, I'm in Subic right now, staying here. Thumb star. And uh, tomorrow I'll hit the farm and the family. And then next week, plan is to go down to Cebu and just uh, see what, what that town has to offer, Cebu City. And then uh, I think I mentioned before that I plan on hitting some other islands. If I didn't mention it, was, I was probably telling somebody else and not, not the camera. Uh, <clears throat> so in each trip that I make, I'm going to hit uh, another island for a couple of days just to get a feel for the, for the area and then figure out which one I, I want to explore a little bit more. Yeah, I know that going into the city is not, is not the island itself, but it's a start. That'll be in the next video, so keep an eye out for that one. It was a wonderful time in Cebu City. Cebu City. Lots of history. Lots of things to look around. Look around. Look at. <laughs> but it was great. So I met up with, with other uh, content creators. I don't know if, uh, if uh, we'll cooperate together or not on some things, but we'll see about that. Uh, went and, and got a, a good massage, uh, hit a couple places. I had like, like a two hour massage and uh, it was really to help me recover from a previous massage I had where old girl tore up them, them knots and I was just so sore from that. So this was more like a, like a, a, a rub in to, to get, uh, uh, get those sore, sore spots gone. Okay, so not gonna lie. Uh, times you you have a plan to, to go somewhere else the next day, and uh, you're just having so much fun, and and you make plans for the following day, and then you're just having so much fun. You meet up with people again, and yeah, well, so sometimes you know it takes a little longer to get to that next point. <laughs> but hey, it's the Philippines, and it's fun. And. Uh, tomorrow I'll hit the farm and uh, tomorrow I'll hit the farm and uh, tomorrow I'll hit the farm Bar. <laughs> right. And uh, tomorrow I'll hit the farm. Okay, so yeah, I finally made it to the farm. It was during harvest time, and uh, I'll show you quick clips about that. It was a good time as usual on the farm. Just teeming with fish. Homegrown tilapia. <laughs> Got the harvester ready to go. Now we got two going.
Okay, so from the farm, ended up going into Angeles. Uh, stayed there a, a couple of, of nights and then uh, headed out to Cebu. Like I said, uh, the next video will be about Cebu City. Oh man, it's, it's beautiful. I, I waited too long to come out here and, and now it's the uh, the pool is, uh, is beautiful, but sun's going. There's going to be a uh, Oktoberfest type thing going on. The closing part of one of the main highways down, and today the traffic's been absolutely horrible. But we're still going to go down there and check it out and walk around. There's bands playing. I'm sure there's going to be lots of people, uh, lots of ladies as usual. You know, if there's one thing I've noticed is that the Filipinos, especially Filipinas, don't really catch sarcasm very well. At least not from the from the um, American or, or English language point of view. I mean, I, I've told some great jokes and they don't get it. It's like waste. It's like, man, that was just perfect timing when I do it. It just and and, and the sarcasm just whew, went over the head. I I could list a whole bunch and. They're gonna just come back and say, what? Huh? And I'm like, damn it, if I gotta explain it to you, it's not gonna be funny. You're killing the moment, man. Come on. Okay, so I was gonna put some of my musings uh, poolside there, but uh, they were playing a lot of music in the background, copyrighted music, and I don't want this video to be blocked or demonetized, so um, I gotta cut that one out. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll put it as a as a short or something uh, in between this one and the Cebu City one. But that night there was a Oktoberfest, like I was I was uh, talking about there, and it rained. I was on my way there and it just poured down rain, and it I don't know if it dampened the spirits or not. I don't think it did. I. I I started walking out there and, and ended up uh, ducking into a, a bar and uh, a KTV and met some people in there too. And it was funny the way you got to roll with it. You just got to roll with, with the rain. Rain is part of life in the Philippines. So you just got to roll with that. And ended up just going to check it out, to a little, little video of that. But it was just so crowded. Everybody was still at the entrance trying to get in. I guess because of the, the rain delay or whatnot, I did not end up going inside the festival area. I just ended up coming back and there's here's some footage of me walking around a little bit and you hear the music and you see the people. Yeah, the, the Sibides might be a bust because it's starting to rain. So we'll see what happens. And go down the walking street and then uh, I'm gonna make it down there. I don't know, man. It's about to pour down rain. Ah. Crazy. Well, rain is just life in the Philippines, man. Things don't stop because of it, but they pause. It's gonna be a good night. I don't know, thanks. I'm just videoing. Yeah, I was gonna go in, but it looks like a damn madhouse. And this is the side of it. Uh, and of course, scalpers already. traffic it's been a madhouse and uh, just uh, I'm not gonna do it but it is pretty cool plus it's been raining I just caught this break in the rain and uh, after that and you can see this it's like it's a uh, party atmosphere like they need to be all good. The way I see it, if I'm gonna be walking through the crowds and stuff like that, 
might as well just walk around and see beautiful women, ugly dudes, old fuckers. Okay, I'm gonna have to edit that out. But lots and lots of people, as usual. People still living in fear and with masks and whatnot. All right, we're out. One of the other great things about some of the, the clubs and areas and in the Philippines is live bands. There's usually live bands somewhere and they're pretty good. And I, I've been impressed many times with, with just, uh, I guess, guest singers and just impromptu bands that, that show up there. And um, this one here is, uh, is the house band and they're really good. <laughs> But with that, I'm going to wrap it up afterwards. Uh, stick around for all the pictures of uh, my subscribers and my fans. And, and I'm y'all's fan. Uh, and uh, there will be, I think I um, will make like a, a small review of a couple places uh, in between this video and the simple video. So with that, thanks so much for watching all of this video. If you got this far, I appreciate it. There's so, so much more I could I could talk and, and make videos about, about the Philippines and experiences and all that, but um, an effort to keep this shorter than, than it could be, that's going to be it for me. Take care and thank you much.